Killing a Business, episode 10. Oh, Top special done. edition. Forever young. We made it to double digits. Who would have thought? <laughs> double digits. Not <laughs> us. We've only been doing the podcast for like, it's definitely been longer than <laughs> six months. Dude, it feels like we've... <laughs> What, we did the teaser December, right? Yeah, I don't know. But it's been a long time. Yeah. A very, very long time. Oh, by the time. way, you check your voicemails? <laughs> Wait, that was you? No, no. I, I'm just asking if you checked them. No, I know what you're talking about. I was wondering how they got my number. I don't know. I, 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 mess- I thought it was Kyler. I messaged Kyler, and I was like, hey, uh, we got to do a promo, because I got some weird voicemails from, I assume, Zach Thomas and Logan. <laughs> it could have been anybody. No, because then I watched their promo online and I saw that it was them. And they also called Kyler. But I assumed that when they called Kyler, he gave them my number. But it was actually you. What happened? Uh, so he hit me up. At like, this is my first time ever hearing this, by the way. I so no I woke clue. up at like 9 for work. and I'm AM? Just, yeah. Okay. Because, you know, I'm an adult now. Mm-hmm. And so I check my phone. I see a message from Drag King. And I'm like, oh, that's weird. He never texts me. <laughs> and he's like, all right, look, like, you're going to need to hear me out. I have an idea for a promo, but I need your help. And don't tell Lorenzo. And I'm like, okay. And you uh, just listen? <laughs> well, I was like, well, all right, well, what is it? Because, like, depending on what it was, was that was literally <laughs> the sole factor on if I help them or not. Okay. And then they explained it to me. He's like, oh, yeah, we're just going to call and hope it goes to voicemail, and we're just going to leave a bunch of fucking voicemails. Wait, so did they did they actually say they hope it goes to voicemail? So yeah. mine worked out perfectly. Yeah, yours worked out absolutely phenomenally. <laughs> what I wanted to do is I wanted to wait until I got here just in case you didn't look at them and record your reactions. Oh, well, no, I listened to him. I, I I had, so I looked at my phone, I had like four miss, like the thing was like four extra miss, red, whatever, and I had two missed calls and two voicemails, so I just listened to the voicemails, and at first, I was scared, because it was, it was kind of scary, like the, the voice, I was like, the fuck? They're like, if you want your titles back, I'm like, oh, so this is a bit, this is Logan and Zach, at, at, well, for a second, I thought maybe it was Kyler. But then, like, as it went on, I was like, okay, this is Logan and Zach. Then, eventually, I messaged Kyler. He told me they called him, too. And then I saw the the promo. So, yeah. <laughs> so, that's how that went. <laughs> but, anyway, is that it? All right. Uh, I, I guess, okay. yeah, that's it for that. All right. So, off of that subject, yes. let's get to what everybody wants us to talk about since the last episode. Yeah, the latest piece of news going on in Michigan Wrestling. Uh, RPW's coming back. Well, that's not what I was talking about. Oh, that's not <laughs> but, what you were talking about? No, but I am happy that RPW's coming back because I am the longest reigning Dabsky Invitational, Invitational Trophy winner. Dabsky Congratulations. Yeah. yeah, over 365 days. So this is the longest title that I've ever, that I've held in my wrestling career so far. So, how many know, times have you defended it? Uh, Zero. <laughs> Strong title reign. Let's go. <laughs> Zero. Uh, they put on like, who do you want to see return and who do you want to see uh, come back? Or no, that's the same thing. Return and debut. And uh, I put like Isaiah Moore, myself, and like somebody else. And then I got a message like later on that day from Big Murph. He's like, "You want to know something so crazy?" And I'm like, "What?" And then he just sent me a screenshot of it. It was like, "You didn't say me." <laughs> I'm thinking something special's about to happen. Like he's about to tell me some gossip from Skull and Bones with Trey Miguel. He's like, you didn't say me. So I had to go back and at Murph as someone I want to see at RPW. But that's not what we were talking about. That's not what I was talking about with the biggest news. Okay, well, what were you talking about, good sir? Well, I thought you were going to lead it to it. Oh, oh, are you talking about the worst moment of my career? No. <laughs> what is the worst moment of your career? I got hit with the overdrive the oh other day, God. man. That that shit was horrible. I was sitting I was watching. Yeah. Yeah, dog. Something I love about Top Gun is all his opinions are like so strong. Everyone knows him. He likes Rhea Ripley. He likes That's Dr. True. Pepper. That's he hates true. the overdrive. That is very true. Like all of his opinions are like is is a hundred or zero. Like yeah, he knows I'm very it. set in my ways. I'm yeah. very stubborn. Yeah, so the overdrive is the worst move in wrestling history. Even though you played in a match and did it three times. Okay, but I did it for 
for the memes, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, what? What? I can't do the move, but I can get hit with it? You lost to it. I did not lose to the overdrive. Yes, you did lose to the overdrive. Play I, the clip. I lost to a variation of the overdrive. It was the overdrive. All right, whatever, 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 whatever. But let's get I kicked out. Let's get to what actually happened. Wait, you didn't even tell the story about the overdrive. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So okay. So we're in the back with Father Marquis, and like we're going over stuff, and like he's going over like the beginning or whatever, and I'm like, huh. He's not, he's not doing a lot in the beginning. And I'm like, all right, whatever, it's fine. We'll just call while we're out there. So we're going through the match. It's going fine. Like, we do our little runny boy spot. It's going whatever. I think they do, like, a tag move or two. And Marquise gets back in the ring with me. And he leans down and he says, overdrive. Don't reverse it. Don't reverse it. And I say out loud, you got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> and he puts me in it. And now at this point, I'm starting to get up because I'm like, ain't no fucking... No. No. You're not going to fucking hit me with this move. And he literally shoot fucking overdrives me and I have to go with it. And I was... I would have kicked out at fucking zero, but I was so shocked that he actually hit it on me that I could... Only kick out at two points. And when he got here today, he said, "What did you think about me getting hit with the overdrive?" Well, uh, I said, it "I was, was the worst." I liked the match. And then I saw the overdrive. I was like, "Oh, they're doing a bit. Fuck me." I, I was like, "Oh fuck," because I thought he was gonna kick out at zero, but he didn't. I was like, "Oh okay." And then it got to one. I'm like, "Oh, he's gonna kick out at one." And he didn't. I was like, "Oh okay." They're just. It was just a move. Perfect. Because no one knows about the like the fans don't know that you have this rivalry with the move so then you kicked out at two and i was like oh perfect they got that out the way and now we can go back to a normal match and i was happy i'm pretty sure it got a pop and i was upset that it got a pop that was the fucking worst moment of my career by now far. now we could get to what we actually what i actually was talking about which is xicw's proving ground <laughs> returned oh yeah <laughs> yes you're in that yes i am i was up for elimination but you didn't get eliminated, did you? Thank God. So I can tell y'all this story from Brooming Ground. Uh, we get to XI, and uh, there was... So this is XICW Proving Ground 8 uh, extension? Like, I don't know. The reboot. The reboot. XICW Proving Ground 8, the reboot. Because it already started. So whoever got eliminated technically didn't get eliminated first. They got eliminated second. So, what we had to do the draft first, and then we did our matches. And the only people that are for elimination are the people in tag matches. So, Johnny Delicious had, like, the car written down in the back. And he's like, after the draft, plug yourself in. Because it would say, like, RC3 versus Dre Jacobs rookie. Because they don't know who his rookie's going to be. Right. And I was looking at the car, and I was like, the only person that wasn't in a match was Mark Ross's rookie. So, I asked Johnny Delicious, like, does this person not wrestle? And he's like, oh, we'll find something for him. And I was like, okay, but if I get Mark Ross... I'm good with not wrestling. So I was going through a lot that day, and like, uh, shouts out to everybody that reached out to me, by the way. But they, uh, but so I did get Mark Ross, <laughs> and I was out there. He had the first match, so I'm all excited because I got the the vet that I wanted. Mark Ross is killing it in the ring. I'm already learning. And then MF3 comes up to me, and I'm just managing, happy, and he says, uh, shit got fucked up. Uh, you and Mark are going to have to wrestle. Mark's going to have to wrestle twice, and you guys are up for elimination. Damn. <laughs> and I was like, huh? And I'm pretty sure Malcolm knew by my reaction, like how I reacted to him, that I was not. I was thrown off. But anyway, Mark Ross gets to the back, and we find out, like, Jimmy ended up with Aaron Orion, and Jimmy was safe, so Aaron was safe, so that happened. And I had ended up having to wrestle with my tag team partner, Kyler Coleman, and Adam Wick. Who ended up getting eliminated. Yeah, so shocker. Surprisingly got eliminated. So I was not. I was surprised. I didn't think they were going home first. Yeah. Who did you think was going home? Uh so next we got <laughs> What? <laughs> I am incredibly neutral. <laughs> I am not cheering for anybody. Oh. Alright. Well I was I was hoping that LJ and Brutus got eliminated or Nah, I'm just joking. I was really just hoping they got eliminated because the other two were critical content members, so. Right. Yeah, bias. But anyway, on to the next subject. Oh, Levi Blue status. <laughs> so, 
Oh, this is interesting. So, the next day, or two days later, I don't really remember, but Levi Blue put up a status because some rookie was talking crap about Proving Ground. Wasn't me. There's only seven rookies in the competition. I know it wasn't me. <laughs> well, it was not. <laughs> So this time, I know that it does not have anything to do with Forever Young. And normally, I'm in the middle of it. So And Top Gun was nowhere near this. Yeah, so, yeah, but I think uh, what he was saying was, like, pretty valid. Like, Trey McGill was saying that uh, Scott Demore, and I know he was telling the truth because after my match, he critiqued it, and he did tell me and the other people that he was critiquing that Scott Demore does go to XI and look at uh, Proving Ground. He did tell me that. He said that's when he got his first hint that he was going to impact. And then he put it in the comments under Levi's status. So I know that that is for true, as Top Gun says. <laughs> don't tell them, like, <laughs> don't tell them my phrases. They don't They don't need to know those. Oh, uh, yeah. They only hear you say it, like, ten times a day. But on Man, to the next up. subject. Uh, so you... Yes. And Dean got y'all titles back at oh. Metro Pro Wrestling. I didn't yes. see the video. Yeah, so he did. Dean beat Cody's Dean, ass. Dean tried was, to show me the video. There was some pent up aggression in that fucker that day. Like we had a whole ass plan. Yeah, because he was talking like, on y'all were talking on Facebook for like three weeks. Y'all and Cody and his, uh, wrestling rate, y'all were going at it, and I just stayed away from it. Fun fact: Cody tagged me in so many things that I now get notifications <laughs> every time he posts. <laughs> well. <laughs> There was three weeks straight where every time I went on Facebook, I just saw y'all three. Dog, every at single day for three weeks, I would wake up <laughs> and I'd check my phone and I'd go on Facebook and there was about seven plus notifications <laughs> and it's all from one post. <laughs> Greg Clayton, sorry, let Clayton. me make sure I get his name right Oh this yeah, because there's no ill in <laughs> <laughs> but he was in it too. Like every time I went on Facebook, it was you, D. It was half of social reality, wrestling rage, minus the ice cream guy, and Greg. <laughs> you know, ice cream guy didn't fuck with us, so that was cool. It was, he was nice to <laughs> Me us. Me and Keegan stayed out of it. You would think we weren't even in the group. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's just between y'all. It was that was the feud of the year of the month. Was it? <laughs> was it? Yeah. Y'all were going at it. D dog, I don't... So y'all beat Cody's ass? Well, Dean beat Cody up. Oh, okay. Yeah, we had a I whole I should have done a live reaction to whole the Whole plan. Whole plan was like, okay, I'm going to, like, walk up in front of him, distract him. Dean's going to, like, walk up behind him, take the belt, and then I was going to hit him. So I start walking up to him. Dean just goes and decks that fucker like he... Put some effort into that shit. Mm -hmm. He kicked the shit out of that man. <laughs> and rightfully so. He those titles back. Yeah. Or that title back. Oh, I didn't see the belt after Metro. I know Dean still has it. Oh. So, yeah. <laughs> he took that and ran. The trio title. I didn't see him the rest of the night after that either. Oh, but he has the title, right? I could only assume so. Oh, Dean up. Hendricks, please let us know if you have the title belt. He don't please. even watch. He didn't even know that you put him over on the episode. He doesn't watch? No. Wow. Yeah, I figured that. Because so I said, hey, you, did you ever thank Max for putting you over? He's like, oh, I must have missed that episode. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, buddy, missed that episode. <laughs> Conveniently. <laughs> <laughs> that episode you missed. <laughs> so he doesn't watch. <laughs> yeah, oh, fucking, God damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah. But what's next on the agenda? We have a 40-minute time limit, guys. So yeah. we have to get through these topics. Yeah, we're trying to actually have structure now. What are we at? Uh, we're at 14. Okay. So oh, we're almost halfway through. Good on time. All right, yeah, let's go. Stay within our time. Look at us. Good job. Yeah. Not bad for a couple of rookies. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I've heard that there's too many rookies, fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> we might as well just go right into that right now. Too many rookies, huh? Yeah, some people are saying that the uh, the market's a little oversaturated right now. So. I don't get it, though. That I don't know. How many people does WWE call up a year? I feel like... AEW like announced a new damn person every other week. Every fucking... <laughs> they just got paid. 
page here, but we'll get on to that in a second. Oh my God. <laughs> Do we have to? Yeah, but uh, too many rookies. Too many rookies. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, all the rookies are my friends. You learn to kayfabe your own shit. Yeah, I don't know because somebody is. told me something, and I'm not gonna say what it was. <laughs> but they said don't tell anybody, and I said okay, and then I go, oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then I just keep getting told it from all these other people. I'm like, well, what the? <laughs> I thought that I was, <laughs> I thought I knew something. I really was not telling anybody. <laughs> But then I get told it from three different people. It's like, all right, if you're going to tell me to kayfabe something, kayfabe your own shit. Dog, like everyone knows everything in wrestling, though. It's just like high school. Exactly. Literally just like high school. Yeah, and I was, I was not expecting that when I first got into this, but wrestling uh, is like a big high school. Yeah, and we are definitely not the popular kids. Uh, I, I think I am. I'm not. <laughs> I, I don't know. Hell, half the people that know me are just like, oh, yeah, you're friends with Forever Young. I'm like, yep, yeah, that's me. <laughs> that's right. Speaking of friends, <laughs> we're oh not boy. friends. Oh, boy. And this might have been the lead in. This probably should have been what we led this, in with. Yeah, this probably should have been. This is probably what people it. actually want to hear about. Oh, uh, Donald Holland versus Stitches. Uh,. Yeah, it's, you You didn't expect that, did you? No. Because I know I didn't. So, I go on Facebook, <laughs> and I think it was a Donald Island, uh thing, or uh, status, and it, all I saw, I did not read the status, I looked in the comments, <laughs> I didn't even have to look in the comments, it's just there. Shit ton of screenshots. Oh my god. <laughs> Just a shit ton of screenshots. <laughs> you know what? This is why I talk to people on Snapchat because it goes away in 24 hours or it goes away after you read it. So, <laughs> you know what? I should have I should have grabbed some of those fucking screenshots. Me too. But what were they arguing about? I don't even know. I, like I I genuinely didn't keep up with it. All I know is... A lot of people had Donald Holland's back. A lot of wrestlers. I do I do know that Stitch has said some really stupid things. What What was it? I gotta remember something. What's also, the, by the way, I work at Pizza Hut, so fuck off, alright? What does that have to do with anything? Am I missing something? Because I know and that... And why did you just tell them where you work? Well, because, <laughs> do you even work there? Uh, I, I don't sort think of work there. It was complicated. But, like, what that's that the one thing that I saw. He was like... Like, between threatening him, which I don't get what that was about, he was, like, insulting him, and he called him Pizza Boy, and I'm like, bro, like, you can't come up with anything fucking better than that, dog. like, what the fuck was they are? I, know, I remember Stitches saying, like, uh, half these people get their guys from me, their equipment from me, which, I mean... I didn't know that. I knew, like, Horace Sam, Horace Sam set that it did used to have Stitches stuff, and he did, he does have the, the F5 crew, but I don't think it's the F5 crew anymore, because he's not in F5, it's, it's very complicated, but, that part, but the other parts, I didn't know what he was talking about, but, like, he said that they get their, a lot of shit from him, and his ring, I didn't even, I did not know. I didn't know he owned a ring. Me neither, but, uh... It, it, oh, that's some Donald Holland was saying. It was like, you bought a ring and you like, have free shows. Yada, yada. I don't really remember what their whole argument was about. I know Stitches sent him a DM, but I don't remember what it was for. I do respect it for taking it straight to social media because personally, I thrive on negativity and I love to see it during my day because it makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was, we need to start doing these podcasts sooner because I don't remember what y'all argued about. It was yeah, probably no, something dumb. Maybe we actually need a schedule. <laughs> it was probably something dumb. I just he called remember. F5 a shindy. I remember that. So what is that? Shitty indie? That's what I thought it stood Okay. For. All right. Well. Yes. Let us know what y'all were fighting about. <laughs> I don't <laughs> you, know. You see this. I don't know, but like, it was a lot. But then a lot of people had like Donald Holland's back. Was because I guess. Oh, oh, I remember that Stitches said that uh, all these people whose dick you suck don't even like you, which is God hilarious. Damn. That was hilarious. I'm sorry. That was funny. 
I'm not actually sorry, but that was funny. <laughs> God damn, that's a lot. <laughs> and Donald Holland said like he didn't care if they didn't like him. Like he's just trying to support. He's a fan. And then he said Stitch is a fan too. <laughs> Uh, Stitch is big fan of the po- Actually, both of them big fans of the podcast. Damn, they hate each other, but both like the podcast. See, we could we could bring this relationship back together. And See? remember, we still do have the Jack Price Biggest Dick of the Week Award, guys. So yeah, I know exactly who's if, winning if that. People were... Uh, uh, there was a lot of good candidates. And they were trying... Some people were hitting me up asking, like, how to how to get the award. Guys, <laughs> you're, you're not supposed to want... The Jack Price Biggest Dick of the Week Award. Because, one, we named it after his dick. Two, it means that you're a I dick. <laughs> but I guess some people like being a dick. But, uh, I guess. Yeah. That's fair. Whatever. But off of Stitches and Donald Holland. Yeah, I'm speaking sorry. of beef. Yeah, then all of a sudden, like the next day, and I made a status, like, it's like people are auditioning to be on KTV. But the next day, it was like Greg made a status. About Matt Breeding, who's been on this show many times, <laughs> who's also a big fan of the show. And so is Greg. <laughs> yeah, also, big fan of the show. Hi, but guys. But they, like, I was like, what is going on? Like, are they messing with me? Because <laughs> Greg just put something <laughs> random about Matt Breeding. But then, like, I, I figured that they were probably working because they had a match coming up. But it seemed like a shoot, but I don't know. <laughs> well. <laughs> Oh, uh, dog, I didn't keep up with it at all. It was a lot. It was a lot. Greg said, um, fuck, I don't remember either. But he was talking a lot of shit about uh, Mr. Breeding. And I think he had said, like, if he loses, he goes away forever or something like that. Dude, I thought he said that against DBA. I don't know, bro. I, I got to start writing this stuff down. I can't keep up with these people's drama. Dog, you know what? <laughs> Speaking of more drama, because now I want to talk about this. Greg, let me know what was going on with you and Matt Breeding, but continue, Top Gun. Feel free to let me know, or don't. Uh, <laughs> you can do whatever, I don't care. But so, uh, AEW's being uh, pretty interesting right now. Yeah, AEW. They got some things going on, too. Yeah, so we're actually going to talk about AEW now, because... Uh, we're some, marks. Some people, some people compared CM Punk to us. Really? <laughs> CM Punk and the Young Bucks... <laughs> Oh, that shit. I heard the Young Bucks one. I didn't hear the CM Punk one. Yeah, because he can't take uh, he can't take the kayfabe. Like CM Punk got super upset because um, Hangman. All he did was do a promo. He got super oh. upset. <laughs> a promo. Oh. Yeah. So Hangman's oh. just working, but CM Punk can't take the promo. <laughs> Wow, so, you know. So I guess they compared us to Hangman, not Punk. Like, that looks familiar. <laughs> yeah, like, but okay. So, whose side are you on? Uh, not CM Punk. That's for sure. Yeah, I think that out of the two sides, I'm more beyond the elite side. Uh, like, I'm sorry, but if you go to like this goes for everybody in wrestling. If you like, if you go to like every promotion and you have a problem. With every single promotion, maybe it's you. You know what I mean? Like maybe you're just being an asshole because yeah. like we've we know certain people that are like, oh man, I hate this promotion. I hate this promotion. This promotion sucks. They won't book me. This promotion won't book me either for some reason. Why won't these companies book me? And it's like, well, man, you sound a lot like Gio Bronco right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just doing a Geo impression? <laughs> Why did you just catch a fucking stray like that? Oh my god. You just sound like a... What the fuck? You're just going off. Dog, dude, are you fucking for real right now? Well, actually, that kind of sounded like the Davison promo from Grizzlies, too. Dog, I... <laughs> if, if y'all want to... By the way, Davison, if you want to tell me the Grizzly promo, because I, could, I couldn't keep up with it at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have ADD. I liked like it. I, I'm not saying I didn't like it. I'm just saying, like, hey, like... I couldn't follow it because I have ADD and I can't pay attention. But but going back to what you said, okay, there's one thing I agree with Punk on. Wait a second, did Cody Fleming steal the titles again? 
Look at this. Wait, all right, so how did you uh, just... I'm sorry. I just got a text from Dean Send Hendricks. Send a screenshot. I mean, screenshot that, and we'll put it on the screen. Because yeah. that says just now. That yeah, literally says that, just that, now. This is just now. Wait, but what are the odds that you picked up your phone right now and saw that? Okay. Are you kayfabe at me? No. Oh, no. Like, Dean was coming over here, too. Did he Did he talk okay. to you? Yeah, and Marcus is coming over here. Okay. Okay, yeah, and he's... I just want to know yes. how how does it I, say just now? Because he just texted me. Because he just don't don't fucking. I'm not. Are that you good kayfabe at me? I no. I right. can't kayfabe my right. own shit. All right, read dog. it. Let me see. Yeah, Cody's like fucking. I have information that suggests Dean Hendricks and that knucklehead Max with one fucking X. Fuck you. It's two X's. God damn it. Sorry. Lost their shared for us wrestling number two trios belt again. You oh believe that God. shit? Question mark again. What the fuck? This is why we can't have nice things. What? I'm sorry. We just talked about this. Yeah, we, we literally just talked about this at the start of the show. So, this isn't kayfabe, guys. Yeah, is it? We have no idea what the fuck is going on. Uh, let's just finish the podcast. Tell him Dean to give us a second. Or Marcus to give us a second. Because yeah, we're still him. filming. Yeah. But uh, there's one thing I agreed with. With uh, I'll, I'll give you a second. Yeah, because I, I'm fucking fucking up out here. I was gonna say there's one thing I agree with CM Punk on, and that's when mm-hmm. uh, Hangman, like he said that Hangman said like he doesn't take advice. Like I don't need to take advice. I'm doing pretty well, even though there's no, all these. That's kind of dumb. There's all these people around that can give me advice that have been doing it way longer and been successful. I. I'm good. I don't need. I don't need that advice. Like, that was kind of a lot. Yeah, I can't co-sign that one. I just wanted to say that because I, I'm gonna cut that out and like put it in the trailer, and I'm pretty sure people are gonna think that's me saying it. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Hell yeah, clickbait, baby. Gotcha, bitch. If you're watching this all the way through just for that, gotcha. And then the next thing that I wanted to talk about was these regular ass indie wrestlers hosting seminars. <laughs> Because I saw, so, in the Tragedy Boys group chat, like, there was this wrestler who I'm friends with on Facebook. I'm not gonna mention no names. Alright? But they're, like, having seminars. Like, wh- like, why would I have a seminar, go to a seminar of a wrestler that I share a locker room with, like, like so much? And what have you done to tell me that you should have a seminar? Like, some of them haven't even been wrestling five years. And they're having seminars. Damn. I don't even think some of our successful, like, friends would be having seminars right now. Like, it's insane. Yeah, I don't, I don't. You think I'm going to pay to go to an indie, rep, like, a regular-ass person seminar? <laughs> oh, dog, like, if you ever had a seminar, you think I'd fucking pay for that shit? Why would you? <laughs> I hang out with you every fucking day. Hell no, I wouldn't pay for that. So when do you think it's appropriate for someone to have a seminar? I feel like you got to be around at least five years. I don't even think that. I think you have to have made, like, been successful. Like, you have to have been on one of the big five companies. AEW, WWE, TNA, Ring of Honor, or Japan. You have to at least been on them, on one of their, or more than one. Like, if you haven't never been on there, then I, how can I take a seminar seriously? I mean, you wouldn't pay for a Geo Bronco seminar? <laughs> I have it and I didn't when he hosted it. <laughs> the top 50 or 100, the black wrestlers list came out. Yes, and, and we were not on it. Neither was Gio. I was really surprised. <laughs> if I ever am on that list, like, what would I do? Screenshot it and put it on my Facebook picture? That's what, that's what like, everybody else does. <laughs> so no, I mean, that's my profile picture. Oh, dude, if I ever got on that fucking list, you bet your ass I'm shoving that shit down everybody's Well, throats. somebody said that the list awesome. ain't real. <laughs> No, somebody said that the list ain't real, and to get on it, all you got to do is like send an email or something. But I mean, well, like, I feel like I feel like if that were the case, we'd definitely be on it, and I'd be number one. But we ain't send no email. Well, at least I didn't. Well, fucking. <laughs> I feel like you think John Moxley sent a fucking email. For... Oh, I thought you were gonna say John Lowe was on it. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's Ike Watts. Thank you, Ike Watts. No, but. I don't know. I don't know. I, the list, even if it, I mean, it can't be real. Like, how does any list become real? It's just a person's opinion. 
Yeah. But I feel like if we were on it, it's still like a big accomplishment. That's all. Like that's fair. It is the PWI, so. Yeah. But enough of that stuff. Uh, here we go. <laughs> it's now time for not the PWI to put somebody, but it's time for us to put somebody, somebody over. over brother. Bring yeah. the fucking picture up. Let's go. And top gun. You get to get the oh, damn it. Alright, cool. So I don't know if I like I can't remember if I put this person over before. But I feel like if I didn't, it's long overdue that I'd actually put this person over. And that person is Iron Eagle, otherwise known as Aaron Kaiser, who is otherwise known as Black Platinum, not Black Diamond, Marcus Porter. Oh. Yeah. Does a sick ass spine buster called the Kaiser Roll. Like the dude We've seen his moveset. We've seen him practice moves. He genuinely can do literally fucking damn near anything you think of. Like, this man has a double jump fucking moonsault that you never see. You never fucking see the it. Fuck He's never a double done. Jump so he, like, he springboards and then does a fucking sit. Like, you know how Sabu did the oh, fucking. You mean uh, Sammy Zayn's moonsault? Well, yeah, but he fucking does an extra springboard. Yeah, Marcus is sick as fuck, and I think people should know that because, like, I don't hear enough people talking about this man. He's on proving ground, which, thankfully, he's going to get some fucking shine in that because he's teaming with Dre Jacobs. He was actually the first pick. So if that doesn't show his worth off a little bit, I don't know what does. But Marcus Porter, I'm going to fucking put you over, brother. Platinum War is what they call themselves. I like that. Platinum War. He was the first pick. Congratulations, Marcus Porter. You just been put over and joined the elite list of yes. Top Gun's names. All the legends. Yeah. All the such legends. as Dean Hendricks, <laughs> Kyler Coleman, <clears throat> Ryan Mathias. You didn't put him over? I didn't. No. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, yeah. Not that guy. <laughs> Ike Watts. Legendary list. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that means it's my turn, and I actually was planning on putting somebody else over, but then, like, something happened, and I wanted to put this person over, uh, or another person over, and then, like, something else happened, I wanted to put a third person over, but, like, so then I had three guys, and I had to decide which one. Are we going to get a tri Oh, we're not going to get a triple? No, we can't do that. There's no honorable mentions and put them over, brother. I'm putting one guy over, and that guy, it's actually quite funny or ironic or like similar that you put over uh black platinum because i'm putting over the black diamond jack price for the second time my guy let me tell you he is i said this before he's the nicest guy i've ever met in my entire life i had a match with him at metro pro and just put, watching him put together a match and i like his relationship with adam too they're like good friends and their team and like, just the way that, like, Adam calls stuff and then, like, Jack Price, like, listens to him, hears everything out. And, like, normally Adam's stuff is good, but if it's something that he just can make even better, like, he'll just tell you. And, like, it's like, damn, that small little thing just helped make it better. And same with me and Ryan, who was my partner. Like, Jack Price just helped us make stuff even better. Uh, or if something don't make sense, he'll tell us why it don't make sense and stuff like that. He also, like, when I got my vet for Proven Ground, he messaged me immediately and told me something that I could do to help me out with that, too. So, and he's on Impact, killing it. I saw his match. It was awesome. Shouts out to him. I'm so happy that he signed. And he's having a baby. <laughs> really? Yeah. He's having a baby. So, shouts out to the Black Diamond Jack Price. Two times. Put him over. And speaking of Jack Price, now oh, it's here we time fucking go. for the Jack, Jack Price biggest <laughs> dick of the week. Yes! Let's fucking go. I love yeah, that's this right, segment. That's right. A very, a very popular segment. And uh, I, I, we usually discuss this one in the back on yeah. who we're going to put over. And I think we came to a conclusion. We did. So we will say it at the same time All right. on three. Well, on one. Three, two, one. Kyler Alex Cole. Weir. What? Alex Weir. <laughs> Alex Weir. Going into business for yourself, huh? <laughs> Alex Weir. Just trust me on this one. Alex Weir. 
Well, I'm. We're, I don't know what happened with that, but I'll put. <laughs> Jack, oh, fuck. Now I'm off. Oh, God. It's because I actually know why you saying his name. <laughs> Oh God! There's not a lot of people that are gonna catch that, but if anybody like does, I'm gonna be fucking impressed. Well, anyway, uh, Kyler Coleman gets it. I actually discussed this with Brutus Atwell. Uh, <laughs> he said, "So I want to give it to Kyler Coleman because he does not he did not do a promo for Rachel Green and Horace. Oh now. my fucking God! And she's been talking about it a lot. <laughs> what the? And fuck? she messaged me about him not doing a promo and like he like. Just do the damn promo, Kyler. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. Just share the damn flyer. Like, just do it. It will make our lives so much easier. <laughs> but, uh, Ky uh Brutus... Did you share the flyer? Yes. Yes, oh. I did. Did you do a promo? I did not. But I had a reason. <laughs> I had a reason not to. You did. You and did. And Rachel told me that you I did. didn't have to. But, uh... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Brutus told me that I should just get my phone out and just go on every single person that's booked for that show and just say, ah, Matt Justice didn't share the flyer. Kyler Coleman didn't share the flyer. Fuck everyone. Share the fucking flyer. Why don't you? And we will get on with the show. Like, you know, if you don't think that the sharing does anything, who fucking cares? If it makes the promoter happy, just share the damn flyer. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. Just That's once. it. Takes That's five it. seconds. Takes five seconds. You yeah. don't got to share it every day. Because I don't. Once a week. Maybe once every two weeks. Yep. So congratulations <laughs> to Kyler Coleman and Alex Weir. No. Just Kyler gets it. I feel like we should also give it to Alex Weir. No. <laughs> congratulations, Alex Weir, on getting this award. Fuck you, dickhead. <laughs> over twice he was <laughs> I'm pretty sure I put him over too so yeah uh, on that note, oh wait we forgot to say it was sponsored oh <laughs> oh no we gotta we gotta do a sponsor plug at the end of the episode do it right now <laughs> okay well you gotta cut this before that segment it's okay. It'll be up on the thing, so okay, it's fine. Cool. <laughs> Put them over, brother. Was yep. sponsored by the beautiful people. The beautiful least. people at Lethal Lucha TV and the YouTube. No, the website. <laughs> God damn it, brother! <laughs> it's on the bottom of the screen. Yeah, and their YouTube, Lethal Lucha TV. LethalLucha.com. I think that's the website. So Go check them out. YouTube, Lethal Lucha TV. I'm glad that they're cool. Because. Yeah, I'm glad that they like us because we say a lot of shit on this show. Yeah, and we just forgot to plug them in the damn thing, yeah, so they'll be so cool with it. If this seems fragmented to you, this is why. But we love them, and you should, too. Go check them out. Yeah. Yeah, they said they wanted to book us against the Entitled. Oh, I yeah. like that. Yeah. I'll beat their ass. <laughs> we damn. have to go against them. <laughs> That's it for this week. On that note. Finish it up. KTV for yep. Top Gun and Forever Young. Uh, we will see you next time. Yep. And we're back. Sorry we had to come back because... We had some conversations that we needed to have about things that we should put on this show. So I guess maybe we are giving the Jack Price Biggest Dick of the Week Award not to Kyler Coleman. Yeah, no, nah, we're not giving it to Kyler. All right, minute, congratulations. Actually. I'm sorry, Kyler. You're no longer the yeah, biggest dick no of the longer. week. We're That's giving sad. it to someone else. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and give that award to Alex Weir. Because, hey, man, where the fuck do you get off trying to fuck my girlfriend? Like, you, you ever... You ever, like, think that, like, maybe she would tell me? Did you, did you like, never think that that would happen? Because she told me. Like when it when it happened, so like I don't know if you thought you were slick or some shit, but like that shit's not cool, man. So like I know you're getting a lot of heat or whatever, even though you're not even fucking in the wrestling business anymore. Like, hey man, I used to like you, dog, but I hey, put him over twice. Yeah, you put him like... over twice. I'm dragging you into this shit. Just I'm I'm so sorry, but like, <clears throat> hey man, like here's the thing. Right? You're not the first dude to try and fuck my girlfriend while we're in a relationship. I, I like I, I can almost forgive that, right? It's just like 
don't don't be in my Facebook like comments on some friend shit. Like if I'm posting about random bullshit, don't comment like we're friends because we're fucking not. Like we're not friends, and I don't think we will ever be friends unless you fucking apologize to me. And like unless you have an apology, then I'm sorry, dog, but I got nothing for you. Like if you get mad at this, if you even fucking see this, whatever. If other people get mad at this, whatever. But, like, I don't like you repeatedly flirting with my girlfriend or trying to flirt with my girlfriend. And, like, you know what's dumb, even dumber? Is that, like, he knows we have a show oh. called Killing the... You know we have a fucking show. You've been on it a few times You've now, already <laughs> been on it, bro. You, do you think yeah. we give a fuck? We wanted him to be the the, uh, the first guest. Oh, he can, so like, yeah, oh, he, he can, can still, still be, be the, the guest. first guest. And then we'll have a really fucking awkward conversation. Wait, who's your girlfriend? Oh, yeah, Heather Blue. All right. Shouts so. out. <laughs> right. But, yeah, man, like, it's weird because all the people that have, like... Well, not all the people, but there's one other dude who's on some fake shit. Should that's we been... just say his name too? Uh, no, because no. I'm I'm not gonna make things awkward for her because she has to see him at like all the PPW shows. So I'm not gonna make that awkward for her. But Alex, fucking, he doesn't go to any shows. He's not even fucking wrestling anymore. So no. I don't really give a fuck. Like that we know he might be coming to a show. Okay, well, I still don't give a fuck. <laughs> Like, did, did you really think we gave a fuck? Because we don't. We don't. This whole show is dedicated to nothing but bullshit. So when you get yourself, like, involved with me on some bullshit, you're damn right I'm going to fucking put it on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Like, me too. Dog, from what I've, like, from what I hear, like, you've been making a lot of enemies. And, like, for a while I didn't fucking understand it. But, like, yeah, and man, like... Now I know, like, hey, you're a nice guy, but, like, <sighs> shitty decision maker. Nice guy, shitty decision maker. That's how I'll put it. So I, I, I won't completely say fuck him, even though I should. Like, I should. It should be fuck Alex, we're all day. But it's not. Alex, like, it's not. I'm still willing to forgive you. Damn. Maybe. But. Well. Congratulations, Alex. Here. You just won the Jack Price Biggest Dick of the Week award. I don't know. Uh, uh, clearly, I put him over twice, so I liked him, but I can't. Like oh, I thought for... he was cool too. But I thought I we were like. I didn't think we were the closest of friends, Sorry. but I thought we were friends. All right, I can't. Get Guess on not. Board. I can't get on board with that one, Alex Weir. Uh, clearly. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So. I can see you in hell. <laughs> now, now we're out. Yeah, now, now we're leaving. Bye. Fuck out, it's weird. <laughs>